I've seen a TikTok hack. If I move anything, it will all fall over. I'm really embarrassed about my nails. This is my healthy nails haul. One of the best feelings in life, let me tell you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not gonna call this a weekly vlog because it's Thursday. I am still finding my feet with trying to balance everything, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. If you saw last week's vlog, you know that life is a little bit hectic right now, um, particularly with my new business, it's called Sunnyside. I'm sure you've probably heard about it by now. But yeah, I'm still finding my feet with keeping on top of all the orders, getting them packaged up and sent out on time, which has been my main priority, of course. When people are spending money, I don't want them to be waiting any longer than they need to. So I am really pleased, actually, because pretty much... I'm at the point now where if someone orders early in the day, it will be sent out the same day. So I'm getting there, but it has mean the vlog has lacked slightly. By slightly, I mean I haven't vlogged at all this week. But yeah, it's gone really well so far. In the last vlog, I had just launched and reached 100 orders. We're now up to over 180, so it's been busy. But the big launch table is down. I'll show you the office. But yeah, this is the table we were using for the launch to pack up the orders. Can't show you here because there are new products on that sofa. And then this morning, more tubs arrived. This is what my stock level is looking like. I'm really pleased with it. The smaller sizes are definitely more popular. They were crammed in here, so I'm really pleased that there's now like room. The best seller so far has been the hedgehogs, little spotty hedgehogs. They're so cute. And in case you didn't know, guys, if you've got a dog, if you buy a full set, so a harness, a lead, a poo bag holder, a collar, and a bow tie, you get £15 off the full set, which is a really good deal. Little bundle for you there. But yeah, I'm about to go to the post office. And I'm also going to pop to the co op because they've actually got a new scheme where you can recycle any soft plastics. And obviously my products arrive in plastic packaging to keep them safe when they're transported, to keep them dust free. They're all perfect condition whenever they go out, even if I've got them for like two years. When I open that sealed bag, they will still be perfect. But that means I need to find somewhere to recycle the plastic bags. And I'm pretty sure the co-op are doing that now. And there's one just down the road. So I'm gonna head to the co-op, see if I can recycle the plastic from the launch. If not, I'll think again, try and find somewhere that does. I'm happy to travel to do it. I'll just collect it all up and then take it like every week or so. I'm gonna package up this order now. I've just printed off the slip. Here it is, this one's for Shannon, order number 183, and she's ordered a medium four three cups collar. <laughs> Under my packing desk, I've got two bins. So this one's plastic and this one is for pretty much anything else, like the back of stickers you just saw me peel off. Um, but yeah, all the soft plastics are going in this bin so I can just empty it into a bag or something or into a box and take it to the co-op. So, well, fingers crossed anyway, I'm gonna go and find out. Also guys, I bought a label maker and I'm obsessed with it. How cute do these look? I just got one of those Dymo ones, but I'm so pleased I did. I think it looks lovely. I mean, not that I like read it every time I pick up something because I know where they are and where the sizes are, but how could I not label the boxes? And how could they not look cute? Just been to the post office and my mum is now in a jeweler's because she's getting her necklace fixed. Popped into Greg's on the way to the car. Got a pepperoni pizza. These are so underrated. And I also got a sausage roll. Honestly, I've eaten so badly this week because of time. What will I do when I'm a mum one day, hopefully? How do mums eat? I don't get it. I've eaten the worst I've probably ever eaten in my life. I don't even have a child. This is delicious though. You know that feeling when you're in the queue for Greg's and they just bring out a hot tray of sausage rolls before you get to the till? Oh, one of the best feelings in life, let me tell you. <laughs> just got out of the shower and I need to share my love for this product with you. So obviously, you know this by now, every night the Body Shop's Vitamin E Cream Cleanser, my absolute go-to, number one, holy grail, must-have skincare product. Reusable cotton pad, wipe it off, that's literally it. It makes sure your face is nice and clean and cleansed before bed. So unfaffy, which is what I love about it. And then we have another number one. When did I fake tan? I think I fake tanned on Monday night and it's now Thursday. So my tan is still all right on my hands, my arms, everywhere, but it always goes quickest on my face. I think because I use skincare products obviously every day, but to top it up on my face, the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Face Mist smells incredible. The only thing I have found, I'm going to be totally honest, like I love it on my face, but sometimes on my neck it will leave like a splodge. 
which is a little bit annoying because it kind of looks like a bruise. Get all your hair out the way, looking like a berries and cream. <laughs> Give it a shake and literally just spray it all over your face. I put too much on every time, but I don't care. I've got a little tanning brush and I might just brush my neck so I don't get that weird like bruisey patch. And now I'll wake up in the morning glowing. She glows again. She rises. Morning! <laughs> I'm actually looking a little bit more put together today. I know! I'm shocked too. I literally never ever get ready these days, but I filmed a TikTok this morning and that's the only reason I would ever get ready. Speaking of TikTok, Sunny, I've seen a TikTok hack, a TikTok hack, a TikTok hack. I've seen a TikTok hack on how to smell really nice all the time. So, let's go and do it. I saw this girl yesterday say that she has a little spray bottle, which I've left upstairs, and she fills it two thirds with fabric conditioner or fabric softener and one third water. And she said she just takes it with her, she sprays it on her clothes and she gets so many compliments on how she smells clean and fresh and nice. So I'm gonna try it. Here's the fabric conditioner. This is the one we use. Comfort, pure. It smells all right. It doesn't smell like that good. Very good timing, I'm gonna sneeze. But very good timing because I bought these recently on Amazon when I got the Dyson Airwrap for my birthday, I was told it works better on damp hair. So I bought these so I could fill one up with water and dampen my hair before I use it, which does actually work. And it came in a pack of two. So let's fill it up two thirds of the way. Oh, I've spilled it. Oh, oh. Then I'll fill it up the rest of the way with water. And then you always smell like clean clothes. Sunny, doing your breakfast. One of my favourite times of day, I feel like I say this about every time of day, but one of my favourite times of day is actually the morning when I'm having breakfast. Because I sit down with my breakfast, yoghurt and granola every single day, a cup of coffee, which is down here next to me, there she is, a little cappuccino, and I sit and watch YouTube or this morning. I scroll down my phone, recently I've been checking up on orders and stuff to see what I've got to pack for the day. Today I have, how many orders? Six orders to pack and take to the post office, so after I've had breakfast that's what I'll do but yeah I just enjoy it first meal of the day good and healthy kind of really surprisingly filling I say that until it gets to about 11 o'clock and then I'm hungry again I just like it it's a good time of day this is how Hannah Montana my life is right not in the sense that like half of me is normal half of me is famous in the sense that half of me is 12 and half of me is 35 so I've just spent 10 minutes filming a TikTok um it's a funny one I'm not gonna lie so now that the priority of the TikTok is out of the way I'm about to phone Santander and like talk about my mortgage and that because they sent me a letter this week basically to say like it's all confirmed and the payments will come out of my account on the first of each month don't know why I'm telling you this bit but basically they've got my bank account number wrong so don't know who they're going to be taking the first payment from <laughs> joking i'm going to ring them now tell them it's wrong and ask a few other questions but god i wish my days were just full of just tiktoks would be way more fun probably be on hold for like half an hour now no i wouldn't like to know how much is left on my mortgage ever what did i say gonna be on hold for ages Happy Friday. Good morning everyone. It's Saturday and I'm currently outside Leanne's house waiting for her. Here she comes. Oh, she looks lovely. We're going to a graduation party this afternoon. Where well, it's like a little gathering, get together thing. Here she comes. Oh, the child locks on. <laughs> Hello. I like your top. Thanks. Looks lovely. Didn't realise how hot it was today. I know, neither did I. It's supposed to be cold and we both planned like wintry outfits. So it's thrown us off a bit yeah. that it's hot, but... We'll manage. We are 25 minutes late. I think you said we are 25. <laughs> Not quite yet. No, we are running a little bit late, but um, it's like expected. a... Yeah, to be expected. I'm always late. <laughs> but to be fair, it's like an open thing, isn't it? Like, go any time you want, kind of vibe, yeah. I think. I've put no, the sat nav on. It's literally 10 minutes away. Oh. <laughs> I text Leanne, like, text me the address so that I can check out the parking situation. Does anyone else do that? Like, oh, yeah, did you find somewhere to park? Well, I'm just kind of hoping for the best. I think yeah. we'll just have to park, park like down the road somewhere. I might have to do a parallel park. Ooh. I'm so bad at parallel parking, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So it's one of our friends, Luke, and his girlfriend, Sophie. Ooh, they've both graduated. So they're having a little joint party shindig type thing. How's your day been? What have you been doing? 
put a wardrobe together. Oh yeah, what did you actually do it? Well, my dad did it, but I was like his assistant. So I like, had in the screws and stuff. So you stood there and watched, basically. <laughs> How's the um, biz biz? Really busy. Aww. Busy busy biz biz. <laughs> it's good though. I said to my mum, I was like, I feel like I'm playing shops. You know when you're a kid and you're like, <laughs> when you're like playing, pretending. That's what I feel like when I'm packing up orders. Oh, it's like, cute. Well, it all feels pretending to the Royal Mail bill. Oh my God. How expensive is Royal Mail? Oh. Let's put a bit of music on. Adios guys. Speak to you later. Bye. <laughs> right guys, just got home from the grad party. Grad party, who do I think I am? Yeah, I didn't vlog anything there because I didn't know anyone literally apart from Leanne. But we're back and I've got an hour because I'm actually going out for dinner with my friends tonight. I'm very excited about it. We're going to ZZ, the love of my life. Sorry guys, just had a minor panic then because we're going to ZZ tonight. Oh. All right, she's sick of my stories. And Zizi very kindly sent me one of their cards. Sunny, you can't eat that packet of Harry Bows, my love. So very convenient, literally my favorite restaurant in the world, have very kindly gifted me with this card. So me and my friends are gonna go and use it, but I just panicked because I couldn't find the card. It was in my pile of PO box in my office. I need to leave for dinner in about an hour. And one thing that was on my to-do list today was to sort through my skincare cupboard because it's an absolute state. I reckon I can start it. I might have to sleep in a bit of a mess tonight with skincare all over the floor. This morning when I went to the post office to take today's orders, I popped into boots because my nails right now. I'm gonna show you, but I'm really embarrassed about my nails. Look at them. I mean, they're not horrendous, but they're not in good condition. And where I've cut them, where they're so soft, they basically just ripped off. And now they're really short. My cuticles on my thumbs. When I get nervous about stuff, this happens. I normally always have my nails painted with gel, but the gel polish was flaking off. So I just took it off this morning and then underneath I was like, oh my God. So when I went into boots, I've got a few things. This is my healthy nails haul. Also let me know if you have any advice for damaged nails because wow. But the first thing I got is from Sally Hansen and it's this cuticle oil. Actually, it's the vitamin E nail and cuticle oil. And I've used this once today. I used it as soon as I got home because my fingers were so sore. And it has definitely helped already from the first time putting it on. I also bought, because my nails were so soft, I think where I use gel nail polish all the time, I got this one from Sally Hansen. This is the Hard As Nails Strengthener. So I'm gonna put this on. I don't think I'm gonna paint my nails with gel polish for a few weeks. I'm gonna just treat them instead and like give them a really good soak. And I've got some nail files and that is my healthy nails haul, hopefully. As for my skincare cupboard, this is what it looks like. Honestly, it's like Jenga. If I move anything, it will all fall over. Really need sorting out. So that, is my next job of the day. Okay, I've got the majority of it out. To be fair, the back two containers aren't that bad. I've had a little bit of a tidy up. So in here, I've got exfoliators and scrubs. And in this one is all face masks. And then this box is of sheet masks. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce this. face to -ry? Is it supposed to sound like story? Because I read that's face Tory. <laughs> in this Glossier packaging, these are so handy. If you buy from Glossier, definitely keep them. These are all my travel shower gels for when I go traveling. You know, all that traveling that I've done over the past two years to absolute nowhere. But anyway, I'm gonna sort through this. A lot of it needs tidying. I might get rid of some of it. I've got like some old bath bombs and stuff like that. actually did that surprisingly quickly this is what it's looking like now i mean it still doesn't look that great but you know we're working with what we got i'm a skincare gal i like to have a lot of it so in this tub we've now got this is the one thing that like gets in the way a bit it's my used reusable cotton pads that i use every night so this tub is face washes serums random bits and bobs like my bha liquid exfoliant a backup night cream from Too Faced because I love that. Cream cleanser in pride of place, obviously. That is my number one. And then over this side, this is pretty much, well, these are all cleansers. These are all moisturizers or night creams. And then down here, I've got a little spot section. So I've got tea tree oil, a couple of spot treatments. Oh, and also an eye cream area. At least I know what there is there now. And it looks a lot better than it did, right? Someone tell me that looks better. Righty then, I am going out for dinner, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna have a pizza tonight, I've decided. I normally get the Strozzapretti Rosso, which is like the pesto chicken pasta. 
it's delicious but this time i fancy pizza i fancy the pizza all day actually so i'm gonna treat myself to a little pizza tonight thank you very much for watching this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that happened to you this week i always love reading those comments they make my heart feel fuzzy do subscribe to see my future videos i want to say a massive thank you if you've placed a sunny side order i'm loving every single day packing up your orders and shipping them out to you but anyway thanks for watching i hope you have a lovely weekend and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya